Hi, how are you? This is Avevon. It's time to tackle the subject of Alzheimer's disease, its history, how the brain is affected, causes, gender and ethnicity, its signs and symptoms, and the difficulties in every stage of the disease. So, let's get into it. In March 1901, the husband of a female patient had noticed an untreatable paranoid symptomatology in his wife, and then, in fast progression and with increasing intensity, sleep disorders, disturbances of memory, aggressiveness, crying, and progressive confusion. Eventually, the husband was forced to take his wife to the community psychiatric hospital. Five years later, a clinical psychiatrist and neuroanatomist Alois Alzheimer, while attending the 37th meeting of Southwest German psychiatrists, described the female patient's admission to the hospital for paranoia, progressive sleep and memory disturbance, aggression, and confusion. The female patient remained in the hospital up to her death on April 8, 1906. After the autopsy, Alzheimer was able to investigate the patient's brain and discovered and described the histological alterations later known as plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. He included in the report based on the case history of the patient and proposed calling this peculiar illness Alzheimer's disease in 1908. Three years later, he diagnosed a male patient with Alzheimer's, although he noticed that there were no neurofibrillary tangles in the slide preparations, only plaques. The material of both cases, the female and the male patients, was reinvestigated and concluded that plaque-only cases and cases with plaques and neurofibrillary tangles are simply different stages in the development of the same disease process. Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative and progressive brain disease and is the most common type of dementia, which destroys memory and thinking and eventually behavior and personality. Alzheimer's disease is thought to be caused by the abnormal buildup of proteins in and around brain cells. These deposits of abnormal proteins are called plaques, which are made up of a protein called amyloid and tangles which are composed of a protein called tau. Both amyloid and tau are proteins that are normally present in the brain, but in Alzheimer's disease, they become abnormal. Apparent tissue loss and nerve cell death throughout the brain occurs during Alzheimer's disease 
Over time, the brain shrinks dramatically, affecting nearly all of its functions. In Alzheimer's disease, the first area affected is usually the hippocampus, which is associated with memory. Plaques and tangles, shown in the blue shaded areas, tend to spread through the cortex in a predictable pattern as Alzheimer's disease progresses. The causes of Alzheimer's disease are not yet fully understood, but probably include a combination of the following. In 2019, Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia ranked as the seventh leading cause of death and women are disproportionately affected. Globally, 65% of deaths from Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia are women. Deaths due to Alzheimer's disease and other dementias have increased. It is the second leading cause in high-income countries and ranks eighth amongst the leading causes of death in upper middle income countries. Alzheimer's disease is responsible for the deaths of 814,000 people in 2019. Please remember that patients with Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia deserve the same respect, love and care, just like you and me. Mm -hmm.